everybody. Ooh, let's see if I can wiggle that camera. Welcome to Katie Moonchild's world. I'm going to move that over just a tad. There we go. I'm Katie. Organized as usual. Hey, I am here with a walkthrough of the Under the Roses Lenormand deck. It's a beautiful deck that I have wanted for years. I saw it on sale, so I jumped on it. And I'm really glad I did. Um, I have not looked at them. I just took the wrapper off because it had all the barcodes and, you know, all that stuff on the cellophane. So I just took the wrapper off. This is by Kendra, Kendra Huerta and Katrina Hill. Discover the, bur the buried secrets in Under the Roses, a charming petite Lenormand deck comprised of 39 cards, including alternate cards for the child, the gentleman, and the lady. So this is an extended deck. And here gives you an indication. This is what the tower, clock tower, the tower looks like. And yes, it is by USA Game, US Systems, US Games Systems Incorporated. So if you go to their website, you'll find it there. So anyway, here they are. Here's the website and everything. I will put it also in the uh, description where I got these. So you can go directly there and get them. No, I'm not an affiliate. No, I don't make any money. If you use the link that I provide, it's just a general everyday link so you can find stuff. So let's open this and see what we got here. Simple box. It does come with the book. You can tell these this very small deck, which is good. The Norman cards usually are small because they're easier for you to carry around to use. So this describes your Lenorman deck, what what it is, um, where it came from. Uh, yeah. The keywords, it talks about what they are and how they have come from traditions of Belgian, Dutch, French, German, and Swiss German. So then it goes into each card, the keywords to the cards, and does it say whether it's plus or minus or negative? I mean, neutral? No, it does not. That is something I always add. I find I use Lenormand cards a lot of the time for yes and no answers. I'll pull three cards and of course, you know, usually you'll get two out of the three will be one the same. But anyway, this tells you all about them. And then we have, let's see what else we've got here. Aha! How to use them. Basic, basic techniques. Oh, this rocks. Oh, this is good. The terms, how to use the cards. I would imagine it also discusses how to do this directionally. Read them by direction. Different spreads. This is lovely nine card spread yeah and different directions because the different directions will lead you to how to do a petty tableau or a grand tableau which grand tableau uses all of your cards oh awesome good it tells you the directionals awesome good wow there's a lot of information in this little tiny book right here i have a giant book made uh, Printed by Raina George on how to use it. Wow, this even has a little bit about advanced techniques. Oh, yes, 
talking about the different houses and stuff. This is great. I like this. Very awesome. Let's look at the cards. Here's the back. Woohoo! Hello. Slippery slidey. This is the back. I'm not going to hold that up for you. I'm going to just lay them right there. Isn't that a beautiful rose? End of the roses, Lenormand. Put that away. Don't need that card. I use that card for a yes or no card. If it's right side up, it's yes. If it's upside down, it's no. So that's probably what I'll do with this. I'm starting at the back of the deck now. Actually, you know what? No, let's start at the front of the deck. You've seen the back. Let's look at the front. The rider. Move that up just a bit. Clover. Ship. The house. Tree. Clouds. The snake. The grave. That's interesting. I'm glad they didn't put a cough in there. The bouquet. The sickle. Oh, that's cool. Cutting a rose with the sickle instead of wheat. Hoo-hoo. And the whip. The owls. Okay, here's an alternate card. Here's one that has more than one. We have this child. Oh, it's color designated according to skin color. That's interesting. Well, I would mix that up for sure. That's just me. They're pretty cards though. And the fox. The bear. The stars. The stork. The dog. The tower. They call it the clock tower. Oh, see now there's no confusing the garden with the bouquet. And I didn't notice the lilies. Have I come to the lilies yet? Mountain. Oh, that's a good one for crossroads. Look, because you got more than one, but the two main crossroads here. And then you got it again. It's good. This is awesome. Oh, what a pretty locket. It's a good deck because there's, well, this would be confusing because you're looking at that weird little ring. And you're going to be, eyes going to be drawn to the flower. I was just getting ready to say, this is a pretty good deck, though, for beginners. Because a beginner, when you're learning Lenormand, you don't want to have any doubt in your mind. What is that card about? Now, this one would have a doubt in, oh, no, it wouldn't. She's writing in a journal. I wasn't looking, seeing the card correctly. My brain was playing tricks on me. And the letter. Now, the gentleman is another card that there are alternate of. So, I see what the alternate is for these cards. Well, it depends on how you want to, who your reader, who your querent is. Who is the person you're reading for? Uh, same thing happens with the lady. They're beautiful cards. There's your lilies. No doubt, lilies over bouquet. That's where I always, for some reason, I get stumped on lilies and bouquet. Hmm. These are lovely cards. Very nice. Anchor and the cross. Wow. I like these. I like the size of them. As the Norman cards are small, usually. Um, this is one of the smaller ones that I decks that I have. The Under the Roses Lenormand. Wow, thank you very much for coming. Let's, uh, I can't wait to be a little more proficient with Lenormand before I start doing readings with it. Because I actually would like to incorporate Lenormand into my Saturday solutions. I haven't quite been shown where 
it's going to work in, but I have been told I do need to start doing it. So, that, of course, happens on Saturdays. I thank you very much for coming. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever, whenever you're seeing this. I hope this answers any questions that you had about this deck. Be kind to one another. Most of all, <sighs> be kind to yourself, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.